Wizard of West LA. Let's take a look at Swift in this video and we're going to look at how you can use, again this is for notes because a lot of this changes a lot. We're going to connect two view controllers and I'll show you how you navigate between both. And then I will do another video on how you do code for each view controller. So let's get started. We go to Xcode and let's create a new project and we're open an app it's for iOS and we're going to call this two views we'll call that two views and you leave it on storyboard and then use Swift and this is all just defaults. What I do to make things easy, I just run it on 14.1 or even 13. It doesn't really matter at this point right now, just for compatibility. So what I'm going to do is look at the main storyboard. So we have the main storyboard. Let's use something that you can see. Let's use iPod, the iPad Pro 12.9 so we can see. And I'm going to change this view to iPad Pro 12.9. That's fine. There. So now you're able to see a screen. I'm actually going to zoom it out. So we have this, actually let me zoom it in. We have this view controller. Now we want to add another view controller. This is without code, remember. So I'm gonna show you how you navigate between the two. So what you do is you go to edit or view, view, show library. And actually before we do this, you have to do this trick, click on here. Actually click out of here, let's see, on the outside of it. So we do view library and let's go to view controller view controller not view because that's for but you can actually see what it does you can put different things in it let's use a view controller so i'm going to drag that out here okay i'll move it here and i'll move it out of the way so now we have two view controllers. You want to be able to go from here to there, usually click a button or tab, but this one's gonna have a button. This is gonna have the same idea on here. The easiest way to do that is on this view controller. We can click on here, make sure you're clicking on this. Go to view, view show library and we can go back and choose a button. We'll put it on the bottom. What we'll do with this button, change the size so you can kind of see it. There we go. Now we're going to change the name to view two. So now we have view two. Now here's an easy way to do this. Click on view two, hold down the control key and drag to the next, to the next view controller. Let it go. And on this, and on this use show, let's try that. 
Now this is a common thing that happens with this. Click on here. This screen always does this. And what you do, presentation. So you click on view controller, go to this one, and it says presentation. This happens to me all the time. And you use full screen. Now it shows it as full screen. You can check to see what's going on between here to here. As you notice, I'm going to move this over so you can see. There's an arrow and you can see where everything goes. If you double click it, you can see what kind of, uh, you can see what it actually is. If you click on here, you can always find a, an identifier. Here it shows as a, uh, it just selects it. It's uh, called a segue as it goes to the other one. So now we go from here to here. Let's go back. So on this view controller, so click this view controller, go to view library and do another button. And we'll put it right here. Let's zoom it in. Let's make it big so you can see it. We're going to call it back. So let me zoom it out. So now you have both of them. So click on this one. Hold the control key down. Now drag back to the other view controller and let go and use show. Now I have two arrows. Let me zoom this out. Yeah, here we go. This is what it looks like. You now have two arrows. It's kind of hard. Well, not really. You can see it. This arrow goes to here and then this arrow wraps around and goes back to this view controller. So let's check this out. Let's compile it for the emulator. And like I said, these are good notes because this stuff has changed in the past. And now I'm taking a look at it. There. So the program is now running. If you go to view two, it goes to the second one. Look at that, see? And then if you hit back, it goes back. And I have to change, you notice the mistake on here? I need to make some changes on the other one. So let's exit out of here. Let's go back to here. There it is, presentation on the first one. I use full screen. And what we will do, let's just add a label so you can see something. And let's just call it um, view controller one. And we'll make it big. There we go. You can kind of see it in the little display. And then the other one, I'm going to go back to the library and add another label. And let's call this one view controller. Two. And let's make this one large so you can see it. Let me zoom in here. Well, kind of works. There, view controller two. So let's compile this and let's take a look at it again. Let's go back to our simulator loaded. View controller one. And let's see view two. View controller two. And that goes to two. And now we go back. 
So those are the basics with regard to using two view controllers and how you can make a connection between one to the other if you need to do that. There's all different ways you can do it. There's tabs, there's, yeah, actually you can put a tab and you can actually do the same drag and you can drag it to the other one. We'll go through that on, an, on, a, on another video. The other video I want to do is how you do separate code for these. And I will present that. If you liked the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson on view controllers. As you go from view two and then back to view one. Very useful. And remember, keep on learning.